What's up YouTube? Limestone Gamer here. We've got uh, number seven pickup video here for you. Um, trying to pick up a lot of stuff here to make the videos a little longer now. Um, they've been a you know good time, nine to ten minutes, I believe, something around there. Uh, this time we got a lot of mixture of things. Uh, got GameCube, NES, N64, Super NES, PS2, and Genesis. Um, a lot of these things here uh, might be for trade, might be uh, for sale, whatever. I'm not sure yet. Um, picked up some uh, more figurines. I do collect uh, sealed Nintendo figurines as well, uh, which I'll show that in another video. And um, you know what? I'm going to cut it right here to grab something I need to show. So before I get to the pickup video, I'm actually going to show you this, and sorry for the bad lighting, but on eBay I found the marquee for the Turtles in Time arcade machine, which I thought was really cool. Um, right now I kind of have it here displayed on my wall, but I'm going to try to somehow get illuminated and uh, thrown up in the game room here, and uh, I think that would be really kind of cool. So uh, let's jump back, uh, start this pickup video, because uh, we've got a lot of things to show. So yeah, there was that marquee that uh, I've been trying to get for a while now, and I uh, found that on eBay for a decent price. I actually was trying to get the um, TMNT 2 arcade uh, marquee, but uh, you know I'm happy with um, the Turtles in Time one. Uh, for now, I do want to get the other one, because I'm trying to get as much... Uh, Ninja Turtle memorabilia as I can, especially the older stuff, just because it's part of my childhood. And uh, like many of us, uh, probably really enjoyed uh, the Ninja Turtles and um, Power Rangers, which if you haven't found yet or seen, but they've got the, um, the Dragon Dagger from the Green Ranger uh, as a Toys R Us exclusive. So uh, check that out um, in my area. They're selling it for $79.99, which is crazy, but, um, frig, man, it looks, it looks fucking like it's definitely worth, uh, picking up. Anyways, so let's get into the pickup video here. Um, I'm going to show you three boxes that, um, I have that I'm trying to find loose carts for. So if anybody's got, uh, these games, uh, please hit me up either through Facebook, which I'll leave in the description, or um, here on YouTube. Uh, I'd be appreciate it. Anyways, so we've got uh, NBA Courtside, which I need the manual for that. Uh, sorry, the cartridge for that. Uh, San Francisco Rush 2049. And surprisingly enough, uh, I can't find this game and it used to pop up all over the place all the time. Uh, and that's Banjo Kazooie. So, those three games I'm looking for the carts for. So, if anybody's got those, please let me know. Uh, so, I picked up a, a box game today from um, Bibles for Missions. Uh, really surprised that I saw some box games in there. And it didn't look like that the case had had any more box games in it um so but i am going to check it out tomorrow and monday to see if they bring out some more because the condition of the games that were there and for the price it doesn't matter what they were i could have i would have picked them up all day long and uh i left a tag on this one just so i could show you um what the two next box games were going for and that's three bucks And that's uh, Automobili Lamborghini, I think. Something like that. Sorry. But as you can tell, in mint shape, like, unreal. And, like, it was so nice to walk in there after seeing, like, computer games for so long and find this fully complete and for three bucks, which was uh, awesome. So, another one to add to the collection. Uh, the other box game I found there, nothing special. Uh, it is a Super Nintendo game, and that is uh, Madden 94. 
with a little bit of damage here, but uh, yet again, you know, other than that, it's in really good shape, and it did come with all its inserts, game, manual, um, roster, sheet, all that stuff. So another one added collection for the Super Nintendo, which is great. Uh, so some loose cartridges here that I've got. Um, they're pretty all much went for under five bucks each um, from different locations. But first, uh, we've got Star Wars Episode One Racer, uh, Mission Impossible, which I remember this game as a kid, and I th think it was fun. I hope it's the game I'm thinking of. But I used to play this quite a bit with a bunch of my buddies. We used to play this game for hours, and um, I hope it's I hope it's this one that I'm thinking of. Um, next, we've got my second copy, so if you need this, let me know. And that is Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Uh, Mia Ham Soccer, 64. And Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Oh, I got one more. Um, a little bit of... Um, I'll show you anyways. Uh, Rat Attack. With the sticker, this is what I was trying to tell you. But other than that, it's in really good condition. I know, uh, I don't know, but I think that this game is uh, a game that's kind of hard to come across. Um, if it wasn't for watching um, someone's N64 collection um, a while ago, I didn't even know this game existed. So, uh, and I think I picked this up for four bucks five bucks so I'm actually glad to get this one in the collection uh, next we got a loose uh, Genesis game um, a little story with this game um, excuse me um, I had bought this game from youtuber NES Goomba which uh, great guy if you haven't checked out his channel uh, buddy it's glad to see that you're back doing pickup videos I know you haven't kind of left YouTube, you've been around doing um, your Twitch TV and hitting some world records, which is great. Uh, you know, thumbs up for you on that one, buddy. Um, but yeah, sadly enough, uh, we did a little deal and he was sending me some stuff through the holiday season and it never came to me. So, but I found a loose copy of this game because um, I know it's one that's uh, getting a little pricey, but uh, it's The Adventures of Batman and Robin. Now, I'd rather have this for the Super Nintendo. So, if anyone's got a Super Nintendo copy that they want to get rid of, let me know. Um, and if anybody's looking for this copy for the Genesis, let me know. Um, next, we've got some NES games that I got at Bible's Permissions as well, um, probably about a week ago. And they were $2.50 a piece. Uh, two of the, these first two here I already have in my collection, so if anybody needs them, hit me up. Uh, we've got Dragon Warrior with a really, really, really good label. And the cart in there is still white. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like pure white. It looks like it's never even been played. Uh, same with this next one. And that's uh, Hutton Sauce Adventures of Dino Ricky. Which, uh, I actually played this not too long ago, and it was my first time ever playing it. And, uh, I really wasn't a fan of the game. You know, uh, a lot of you might differ, or beg to differ on this. But, I mean, it just wasn't my, uh, my flavor, I guess. Uh, next game was a game I played uh, a lot as a kid. Uh, I was glad to find it. This game was going for about, like, $15 at retro stores around here. And I was able to get it for 250, so I was really happy, and the, it's in really good condition. And that's Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout. So 250 a piece on those ones was really good. I'm glad. Um, let's just try to wrap this up here because I got a few more things to show and a little, another little story. Um, but anyways, so a while ago I came across uh, this PlayStation 2 game. Uh, for 34 bucks 
and I found it the other day and for with a bunch of other games I actually paid 20 bucks for all these games so this game was probably about five dollars and it's fully complete and that's Dragon Quest 8 complete with the demo disc so that was good for five bucks and I'm glad to get this I really want to check this out um, I'll probably play this after I play Final Fantasy 7 which I'm doing right now um, and for 15 bucks a uh, complete sealed game of um, PS2 RPG which uh, apparently is really good um, not sure what I'll do but for, for 16 bucks sealed is La Purcell, I think, Tactics, which you can tell, 100% factory sealed. And uh, I might trade this off so I can get an open copy to play because it'd be kind of ashamed to keep this and not play it and or open this. So if anybody uh, might be interested in this game, let me know if you want to work out a trade um, because I think I'd rather have an open copy. And someone else might appreciate uh, a sealed copy. Uh, last but not least, I did a trade recently with um, Ian of the sorry Ian of the Thrift Dwellers. Um, I sent him some Super Nintendo stuff, or sorry, one Super Nintendo game, which was Donkey Kong, uh, first one boxed. And a few other things, but I'm not going to say anything in case he's watching this. Um, I'm not sure if you have the package yet. But uh, I just want to say thank you for the trade. Uh, it was great. Um, and you sent me two things that I needed for my collection, which is awesome. And the first game is Prince of Persia Warrior Within. But it is missing the manual. So if anybody's got an extra manual, hit me up. Let me know. And complete inbox copy of Super Mario Brothers 2. Which was amazing to add to the collection. Um, I don't have Mario 1 boxed and I don't have Mario 3 boxed. Um, that'd be kind of really cool to have. Um, if anybody's got an extra copy, uh, they're willing to sell or trade. Um, you know, I'd work out a trade with you, try to see what I've got here that I can... Uh, traded with uh so yeah anyways thank you ian very much if you guys haven't seen the thrift dwellers recent uh one of the recent videos for ian's pickups the ian show which uh by the way it actually was really cool that um the thrift dwellers put up that show it was it was nice to see ian's uh little pickups and which aren't so little uh but anyways check it out i'll leave uh the link in the description for that video um, I was going to make this a two-part video. I've got a lot of um, GameCube games here to show off, but uh, I guess I'll leave that for another video. Uh, collection's going strong on that one. But anyways, uh, thanks very much for watching this video. P please uh, subscribe if you haven't. Um, thumbs up the video. And, uh, you know, uh, leave a comment. Even if it's just to say, hey, how's it going? Uh, anything. You know, it's uh, great to hear even a hi, hey, how's it going, uh, or your thoughts on my videos, uh, my collections. Um, so until next time, YouTube, uh, take care. Um, if it's still winter in your area, spring is coming, so our garage sales, and it uh, feels like a good year. So um, take care. See you soon.